Okay, last little quick summary of a game today. We had the earlier kickoff Sweden v South Korea, which I saw quite a big chunk of. It was quite boring. Uh, I saw the penalty decision for controversy with VAR. Uh, the penalty initially wasn't given, but then after a review, the referee gave the penalty, and it was a deserved penalty and a deserved win in the end. And this was actually their first appearance of a World Cup for 12 years which for a team like Sweden, because I, I always think Sweden are a pretty good side who can give the top sides a, a few problems. Uh, I was quite surprised to hear that. Um, South Korea with Son Hyun Min, he, he didn't really perform. I think they, for large parts they were quite even, but Sweden were just that bit better. But I don't think either of these two sides are really going to upset the likes of Germany and Mexico and even though Germany has lost uh, the first game I should think they won't have any problems uh, getting past Sweden and South Korea and I think Mexico will be looking at these two teams thinking they can win the group and win these next two games um, It's I think it's a shame that Ibra Ibrahimovic didn't come out of retirement and play in this tournament because Sweden they had some chances and if someone like Ibrahimovic even at his age don't forget last season Ibrahimovic scored 17 league goals for Manchester United. If Ibrahimovic had been there, he, it could easily have been a more comfortable result for Sweden. Uh, so, yeah, it's the same problem with both teams. There's just no firepower up front. There's such a lack. And you look at play, players from the other two games, you look at the Belgian, Lukaku... He was a pivotal figure in their win in Belgium's win over Panama. Harry Kane was a pivotal figure in England's win over Tunisia. Sweden don't have a player like that, and they're not expected to do much. And before the tournament started, I actually thought it would probably be between them and Mexico to go through to the next stage, with it being a very uh, probably going to goal difference. But after this performance and seeing Mexico yesterday, who were very good. I, I just can't see Sweden or South Korea upsetting the other two teams in the group. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. But I, I was very underwhelmed from what I saw from these two teams. And there's there's talk of the tournament being expanded to, what, 48 teams, something like that. Sweden are a decent quality side, but if you're going to get so many sides below that quality... It's going to make such a boring tournament. And we saw parts of that in the Euros two years ago when you had a lot of lesser nations. Great for them to make a European Championship, but they just weren't good enough to be there. So I think Sweden are good enough to be there, but they were underwhelming today. And this is certainly not one of the better Sweden teams I've seen in recent years. You look at the one that beat England 4-2 a few years ago. And they just look a totally different side. So let me know what your thoughts on the comment section. Do you think Sweden have a chance of going through to the next stage? Do you think I'm underestimating them? And do you think I'm overestimating Mexico? Let me know your comments. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.